Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I am back with um, a requested video from one of my subscribers, Miki Cham. Hi Miki, I'm so sorry it took me so long to do this, but I have actually uh, moved my recording day a day early to Thursday. And I'm going to do this tonight and then do another video uh, tomorrow. But I wanted to get this done ASAP because I know you've been waiting a really long time for this. So I'm sorry. Um, just before I get started, guys, I, I do check now and again to see how many subscribers I have. And then I got an email from YouTube saying, congratulations, you've reached uh, over 100 subscribers. Guys, I cannot believe this because this was this is a tiny channel. I know I don't have the best filming equipment in the world. I know I don't have the most lu luxurious uh, atmosphere with the, you know, great lights and cameras and really expensive designer bags and they're all real. And but the fact that I've got a tight like, you know, it was a tiny little group that slowly and surely just kept adding on. And now I've got over 100. Guys, thank you so, so much. I'm like so humbled and really, really happy that you guys don't mind that, you know, it's not the biggest channel in the world. And, you know, I do have a small, uh, little, you know, little room that I film in. I use my phone. I am looking into getting a camera, uh, a proper camera to uh, do better quality videos. But for now, the fact that you guys have stuck with me through having to do all the videos on a camera phone and not the best camera phone in the world, but um, it, it really does mean a lot. And you guys always have lovely comments and um, I'm just really, really, um, yeah. Yeah, you've, you've made me emotional. You're not going to make me cry. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much. I did start this channel, I think, was it two years ago? I know it was a May Day bank holiday. And I had just bought my Michael Kors envelope style wallet in the deep pink. And my first video, I was so serious. I had just bought it from the shop. And my boyfriend suggested maybe trying a YouTube channel because I was always boring him talking about handbags and SLGs and everything. He was like... You know kind of just shut me up would you please just start a youtube channel um but i was always so scared uh to do it in case everyone hated me <laughs> um especially with the replicas some people can be you know funny but all in all um i have had the best experience so far and i do not plan on stopping anytime soon just onwards and upwards guys so thank you so much um 100 subscribers never thought it would happen amazing so thank you so much Big smile on my face, as you can see. Um, okay, so tonight, um, like I said, my, my girl, Mickey Cham, asked for my favorite crossbody bags. I've just pulled them all out. I was gonna try and rank them, but I really don't know which ones are my favorites. Um, they've all got good qualities, hence why they're my favorites. Um, so I'm just gonna, those are all piled down here. I'm just gonna pick one at random and uh, tell you about it. So the first one, oh, I'm going to say this about all of these when I pick these up. I love this bag. So get ready to be bored of me saying that over and over again. But I do love this bag. This is um, a Gucci Dionysus replica. Um, from, I think it's from a chi chi Chinese seller on eBay. Uh, I did not know what to expect. Sometimes you don't know what to expect. You know, with the photos, are they going to look like that? Are they going to be any good? And uh, this one is just amazing. Um, the original Gucci Dionysus of this style with the crystals um, has, I've noticed, like they have a strap, but it's not doubled like this. It's literally just this strap and that's as far as it goes. You can literally only wear it on the shoulder. So what I loved about this one is that you actually have the option, kind of like the Chanel um, double flap, that you can pull the chain out and make it a... Uh, crossbody or on the shoulder and on nights out I've used this I've literally swapped from crossbody to on the shoulder to crossbody and on the shoulder because both ways it is so comfortable it's a lovely lightweight strap it doesn't hold the biggest amount that why, that's why it is an evening bag I kind of wish it was bigger because I love this bag um just the quality like in itself is so much better than I thought it was going to be like I said I've said it before in the video I reviews this I always smell it Trying to figure out if that's leather or not. If it's not, it's flipping good replica leather. It's really, really good. So as you can see, the slips like aren't too big. Um, and there is a zip compartment here. I usually just put my phone in here. Um, and considerably downsized for this. So either a card holder, my coin purse, and uh, my keys. 
Um, so that's why it is an evening bag because it is quite small but it's so beautiful and uh, like I said the quality is so much better than what I was expecting so uh, yes so my Gucci Dionysus replica even though um, it is an evening bag it is one of my favorite crossbodies and a lot of nights when I know I'm going out or I have an occasion look at the sparkle Woo. Uh, I do reach for this and I have no problem in downsizing because when I use it I always have a big smile on my face so that is the first one. Second one pick up random my Juicy Couture um, crossbody with the white or sorry the white the clear crystals and the red crystals let me see if i can get that shine oh look oh wow this really makes me want to just just change into this now um oh wow that is so beautiful every time i get this out i'm not using this enough and i actually am trying to uh instead of using a bag monday to friday um, a lot of the smaller bags and the more uh, luxurious bags are only being kept for the weekend and then maybe I'm running late or I'll forget and I'll end up using my work bag to go out or do what I have to do that day. What I'm trying to do now is change into a bag on a Thursday night and get to rock my favourite bag on a Friday because it's Friday, everyone's happier in work, I get to dress down. So why not change my bag? So, oh, look at that. <gasps> right, okay, I'm getting distracted. So I may change into this uh tonight because I'm going to change into another bag tonight so yes it is small again but this one is really good because it is deceptively small you can actually fit quite a bit in here the one thing I actually thought that this would have like a popper in it and there'd be another section here it's not unfortunately it is just these two bits but you can put I wouldn't say a full-size wallet be probably too big but more compact wallet there's a little card holder in here if you guys can see there we go a little card holder you can put something in there like your cards obviously or um i don't know i think i used this for something before i didn't use it for my cards maybe put my lip balm or something in there but you know any extra pockets is always good you'll always find something to use it for and i love the fact that even though this is not an adjustable strap it is perfect when you're five foot two <laughs> this just sits perfectly on me crossbody it's so comfortable i love when the sun hits it obviously and uh, yeah i think i have picked my bag already to what i'm going to move into tomorrow so i do not get to use this enough um like i said bigger bags always seem to work well for work but you know you need to get you know get to use all your bags you can't just say you love them and never use them i'm guilty of it but i'm trying really hard to stop doing that so uh, next one, um, oh, a little guess. I love this. A little guess, graffiti, pink and is it the pink, pink, black and pink, black and white. Uh, I cannot remember the name of this. I should really look at my old videos before I start filming because I just keep forgetting. Um, but again, a non-adjustable strap, and it fits perfectly on my body frame uh, when it's crossbody. I love it. Little slip pocket at the front. The raised guess letters there on the front so pretty such a nice little feature and a nice big uh, open compartment i have it stuffed at the minute two little card slots in here and a zip pocket on the back and it is just so ah uh, i just remember what days i've, I've used this it is so comfortable once it's on there's no hardware that you know like a charm where it can like hit the wall or get scratched or something like that i just love it that when it's on it's on and i just even forget i have it on and it just looks so lovely because of the graffiti and there's a bit of pink in there so i get to feed my pink addiction even though it's not a full in your face pink so <coughs> pardon me guys um but as we're getting into the colder months already, I do see white bags and light coloured bags as more of a summer um, bag. And I definitely did use this a lot this summer. Look at the wee dust bag it comes in as well. So small. <laughs> so that's number three. Number four. Oh, I love this one. See, I told you I'd be saying that every time I picked up a bag. I love this one. I love this one. Um, Oh, this is the Michael Kors. I paid a lot of money for this. Um, this is a past season bag, but I did pay full price for this. 
um i paid about 250 if i'm not mistaken uh because it is a very rare color combo it's got the blue patent leather and the black and gray monogram with the silver hardware you guys know i'm a sucker for silver hardware and this is the crossbody old style hamilton not the new one um that uh they've just released and uh, this is perfect it is a nice big bag big big compartment there with of course the wonderful crossbody strap which is adjustable and has some nice little chain links on the end of each one there we go and it is absolutely lovely i've again don't get to use this enough I love doing videos like this because it reminds me what I have. I'm getting into a very bad habit of starting to use the same bags over and over again. And this is a great, great work bag as well because it's really big. If there's something light there, see? Oh, come on. Black insides of bags are so hard to film. I'm going to try and get... You can start to see that there. But it's extremely deep. Oh, it's just not playing ball. But uh, there is an, a video on this, guys, um, where I think my light was better in the last place I lived uh, because I had a nice big overhead light. And this one is not that great. But it has a zipped compartment on the back. Three uh, slips on this side. And if you go, oh, I'm trying one last time. It goes well basically it goes all the way down to there. <laughs> so but it is a nice big bagging through so much in here, but it's still compact and it's extremely comfortable to wear crossbody. Um and I don't think I, yeah, this one thing I did notice is when you were holding it by the handles, this little it doesn't matter how you move this, this little clochette keeps sticking out like that. But as soon as I wear crossbody, because I never would wear it really handheld. It sits quite nicely as a little charm. So I love this bag. Love blue, electric blue. It's a very, very nice color against black and gray. Oh, the Michael Kors dust bags, I love them. Lovely silky feeling, absolutely gorgeous. One second, guys, just one second. Sorry guys, I just went down to turn my heating off. Uh, this room was getting really warm and I could still feel myself starting to sweat. So I just went to turn the heating off. Um, okay, on to the next one. What shall I pick? Ah, uh, an oldie but a goodie. Back in the eye offer days. Uh, this is, I'm not even going to say replica Pouchette Matisse because Louis Vuitton never made this type of Pouchette Matisse with the birds. But I love the birds, the lovely birds collection. Uh, they put it, yeah, just made a bag on eye offer and put it on not the greatest Pouchette Matisse replica, but it does the job and it's a very lovely bag. The only thing I have said about this bag, because I did have a replica Pouchette Matisse in just the monogram and it was all, the design was awful, the logos were completely misplaced. It was a cheap bag, I knew it was going to be like that anyway, but the inside was a lovely red velvet and the inside of this is horrible ew 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 it's like a brown rough woven fabric and it's not very nice so if i could change anything about this it would be the inside because it's really oh, well one it's not a very nice color and two it's very rough and unappealing but um it does the job once the things are in there I don't notice it as much, uh, but it's a great little crossbody. Anytime I've worn this, I always get uh, comments. Oh, look at how cute that little bag is. And it's brilliant. The strap is brilliant as well, because for a replica, they actually did do the fleurs along the strap. A lot of replicas don't bother. Uh, you can see it's starting to go a little off kilter there, but thankfully that is when it's on the back. So you can't see it. And along the front, it's fine. So. As you can see, not bad for a little replica, and I just honestly bought it because of the birds. Um, Bichette Matisse is great. Uh, this model isn't fantastic. The zip at the back is down way too low for you to be able to put anything substantial in there. You can still put like a lip gloss or, you know, receipts or something in there. 
um, the handle is absolutely atrocious. <laughs> It is so bad, but I was not getting this to pretend I had a real Louis Vuitton pajama taste. I just wanted the bird. And they've done a very good job with the bird, I have to say. And it's very cute. And I do get comments when I use this. Um, very comfortable with pajama taste to wear as a crossbody. Um, it's just, it's like a little school satchel. I've said that before in previous videos. And it just, it carries a lot. And once it's on, you forget it, that you even have it on. It's fantastic. And like I said, I just bought the style because I thought it was cute. And I love it, apart from the inside. The inside is horrible. Okay, well, well on that subject, I might as well go with the one that's a bit better. And this is my, I have to, I think this was my last ever AliExpress order a few years ago, a couple of years ago. And this is because I couldn't get it on iOffer because I was trying so hard to get this on iOffer and their uh, their payment methods weren't working. And I kept going on Twitter and saying that everyone was having the same problems and it's still happening to this day and I am not risking it again. So I gave up on iOffer as much as I hated to because I really liked iOffer when I used it. But this was, I was so desperate to get this and one seller had this um, on AliExpress and it's not the best because it's not the bright red that i wanted uh like the original it's like a bright electric red against black and it's really shiny and really glossy but you know it was it was good for you know what it was you know i mean it's still red it's just not as shiny as the original is but everything else is pretty much spot on the handle is fantastic does say Louis Vuitton Paris. The zip is where it should be, and the zip, uh, the Louis Vuitton on the zip is really good as well. Uh, the lock is really good, and the inside is lovely, and it is the same as the original. It does have that lovely, like, um, what do they call it? Like a uh, camo green, is it camouflage green or so, um, in there? Uh, and it does have a little tag that says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. I know a lot of them were made in the US. That's why it was limited edition. I think some were made in Europe, but not many. Oh, the inside of this is that lovely, nice, smooth. Uh, was it like suede? Suede material is absolutely gorgeous. And the strap is amazing. And again, has the fleurs in the right places. And extremely comfortable to wear crossbody. I have it on the longest setting. Uh, oh, it's just a lovely, lovely bag. And this is making me want to change into this one. Oh, I'm going to keep... I'm. Do you know what? After this video, I'm going to keep most of these out to remind myself I actually have these. And just because they're smaller doesn't mean that they still can't pack a lot. So, oh, I love it. Like I said, it's not in your face like the original, like the like the bright electric red, like the original, but I was so desperate to get this bag in this color combo. So beggars can't be choosers, but the dust bag's amazing as well. Really good quality. So it's a lovely, lovely to have two bags in that kind of same style um, because I could never afford the ever 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 unless i win the lottery or something which is doubtful but <laughs> so uh okay three more to go guys this one i've used a couple of times and i do love it but it is an occasional bag because it was very expensive for me this is the michael kors manhattan contrast trim um satchel and it's absolutely gorgeous with the iridescent hardware uh, I have to say the first time I used this, I saw a few little problems and it's because of this hardware. This hardware isn't great. I knew it wasn't going to be great. I knew it wasn't going to be durable. Uh, under, I can see like one little, like kind of, I can't see it now, but there was like a little bit of, you know, you can see the chipping starting. Um, where did I see something as well? There was something on the back, like a little like over color of the green. This little, you probably, it's because I've been so careful. Like, see that little thing there? And I think there was something else, but it's just a very delicate bag. And I've got to just, I, do you know what? After the first time, I was like, 
just to use it and enjoy it. You know it's not going to be a you know perfect looking bag because it's a smooth leather, because of the hardware. So I've just learned to enjoy it and I do love it. Uh, I am very careful with opening this because I don't want this to ever snap because if this goes, um, you can't really use the bag. But it is absolutely beautiful. It's the phone, my phone slips into this perfectly. And you do have quite a bit of room there in the middle with a zip compartment and a little slip pocket on the side here. So, let's see that a bit better. And the strap's just fallen down. Um, kind of like the Fouchette Matisse in a way. The same kind of like idea, like the style idea. And the strap is just gorgeous. It has this orange contrast trim and a little shoulder. Um, what would you call that shoulder shoulder rest is that it shoulder rest I, i'm not too sure um and it continues the iridescent hardware and even on to this bit yes that was the thing i noticed when i first this was like the third attempt of getting this bag the first one there was some uh hard or chipping uh the second one had a mark on the leather and then this was the third one and i saw a little scuff on the you can see it there at the bottom there that little silver bit uh scuff on this and i was like Do you know what i don't care i'm not returning it for a third time it just i do i knew that the hardware wasn't gonna be perfect it was kind of annoying that there was like i could see a fault before it started using it but i was just like it was it's a very rare bag extremely hard to find sold out everywhere uh, after i put the video up a lot of people were messaging me not saying it's now sold out so um yeah it was not a forever piece in the collection so i just thought you know it's going to happen anyway with time and now i'm using it i don't care if anything else happens to it i'm expecting it but it is an extremely comfortable bag and very very functional and all oh, th those colors are just gorgeous um but just not very practical when it comes to the hardware. That's probably why they didn't do it again because there were complaints about the hardware. But um, anyway, uh, so uh, let me see. Two bags left, guys. Then this beauty, I am not going to bore you for long with it. I did a, a big video on this solely for this bag. This is the Guess Sweet Candy uh, satchel, large satchel. Um, that I got from the website um, and it's away from the website now. I'm so glad I got it when I did. Like I said, it reminds me of Chanel and the Louis Vuitton bandolier. It's got this lovely like Chanel-esque handle and the quilting and then like the bandolier it has a strap. A lovely big thick strap and I use this in Paris. It's absolutely huge as you can see. I use this in Paris. could throw everything I wanted in there. Uh, the only thing I did notice, there was quite a lot of colour transfer because of my jeans. I was wearing it for five days straight. Looking at it now, I think I've done a good enough job of cleaning it up. There was quite a lot of blue here. You can kind of maybe see some blue in the corner there. Um, it was very hot over there, guys. And basically wearing jeans every day. So I just honestly, I, I took a baby wipe to it. I took a lot of it off. Um, used a bit of uh, dishwashing soap. Uh, to take off some when I got home and it's fine so it did well especially for being a white bag um like I said I've got a full video on this so I just don't want to go into too much detail this video is running a bit long um but it was perfect especially in Paris when you need something for like a longer uh trip or something like that and you need uh, a lot of space but you still want something that uh, you can throw over crossbody perfect 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 bag one of my favorite purchases as i've said before and the last one is my new purchase stella mccartney the falabella box bag now i know i've only used this once but i loved using it last weekend it is a lovely crossbody kind of reminds me a lot actually of the i'll pull this out it does remind me of this michael kors bag quite a lot Kind of, there's just something a little you know that it's probably not similar at all i don't know what i'm talking about um but it does it it's it's i love uh maybe it was the handles i'm not too sure um but this is just such a comfortable bag to wear crossbody 
uh, I thought it did come up a little high on me and when I did try it out I was a little disappointed it sits perfectly sometimes I that's why a lot of my bags are on a longer setting because I wear them quite low on the hip uh, this was so comfortable where it comes to crossbody in my last bag or in my last video revealing this bag I do have a mod shot on at the end and even in that picture I was like that sits perfectly I'm just not used to having it a bit higher than you know where I had them but I would always when I have it long ways on the hip it would bang off my hip like you know uh you know next next to my bum and you know it would con continually bang when you have it that bit higher all of that goes away so I think I've been doing it wrong because <laughs> this was so comfortable and it does pack a punch like I said it said in the video it looks like it wouldn't fit a lot it does Got all the stuffing in here it does have the barriers at the side kind of like the Alma BB I think I did this in the last video and we didn't get very far to oh there we go all I had to do little barriers as you can see there so even if you did have this wide open it would not um you wouldn't lose all your things uh I wouldn't advise doing that obviously if you can help it um let me see but what I do is I just keep and they're very strong zips, zips as well guys kind of hold it or keep it up like that so it's easy to kind of get in and out of because it's when, it, when it's up here it's quite strong but it is an absolutely lovely crossbody bag fits quite a bit and it's extremely comfortable to wear so that is my latest part latest purchase the Stella McCartney Falabella box bag the always love collection so guys so sorry I forgot I had so many Thank you so much for staying with me. Sorry, I know this video is running long. I will wrap it up now. So, Mickey, thank you very much, girl, for requesting this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and, guys, if you uh, have any questions, comments, or any uh, requested videos, please drop them down in the description or in the comment box below. And I will certainly add that to my list. Um, like I said, guys, thank you so much. Now, um, over 100 subscribers. Yay! Um, and I will definitely look into getting better filming equipment, better lighting, and uh, um, hopefully more uh, quality videos for you guys in the future. To say a big massive thank you. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, we're nearly at the weekend and I am away on a shopping trip on Saturday. I am up very early in the morning and who knows i may have a new purchase it's an outlet down in the south of ireland uh, where you can get guests and you can get michael kors for fantastic savings so part of me really wants to buy something and part of me is like i hope i don't see anything because my poor bank balance at the minute needs to recover from all these uh, pricey purchases recently <laughs> so i'll let you know how that goes guys so i'll maybe take a video um and some pictures for you um and upload them when i come back so uh, have a great weekend, guys. Well, I'll do what I think. Hopefully I'll get time to do another video tomorrow and then I'll um, I'll get to it's Kildare, uh, the shopping center in Kildare. Um, I'll upload uh, some videos and photos from that visit once I get back. So thanks, guys, for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye, guys.